Good morning, everybody. It's another day, another pretty day here at the Philippines. It's uh, a little overcast and a little bit of sunshine, but partly cloudy, I guess. Um, it rained most of the night, and that was very nice during the time it's supposed to be dry season. The more rain we get that penetrates the soil and goes in our well, that keeps us keeping water coming to mix concrete is a blessing. If uh, the shallow well near the beach can't go deep here, can't go deep, you'll hit salt water. So you have to hit up in a table of shallow water and that can get depleted really fast when dry season comes. And you don't want to pull from it too much because then you allow the salt to come in. So yeah, these rains, they're a real blessing for sure. As you see behind me, the build is going up. There where those window bucks are, it looks like a black window, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it looks like we built a black wood window, but that is just where a window will opening will get cast as we build this. And another one right over there for a small uh, window on a CR as well. Well, the guys are here. They're up here getting started already. I hear knocking and banging and going on. I had a new subscriber come on and comment. Now this video will be delayed probably when you see it from when he commented. He want to know, uh, or said I, I, he assumes that casting costs a whole lot more than building a hollow block. But it actually costs a whole lot less. You, you'll probably use half of the amount of concrete <laughs> you might even use more than half of the amount of concrete by the time you're to a finished wall on hollow block versus a finished wall on casting so buy yourself a little stack of plywood some cocoa lumber a couple pieces of pvc chop up for some spacers get some long all thread and chop it into one foot pieces some nuts some washers and go to town on it and you can reuse that again and again and build an entire place. And let me tell you something. Don't go buy no quarter inch plywood. That little old thin quarter inch stuff. You can't build a real form from that. You can build a one time throw away wavy form. I'm talking about go buy you minimum of half inch. And now here in Southeast Asia everywhere you can find this... Uh, this form board that's this block right here that's specifically made for forming it's got a film on it so you don't have to oil it or put diesel or none of those things it already has a film on there that uh, keeps it from sticking with the concrete so buy you some of those sheets and just go to town with it only place you might want to buy some cheaper plywood is if like you've got some forms or some odd piece that's going to be a one-time cut that you're not going to use again again you might want to sacrifice a cheaper piece of plywood for that particular task this is all actually way more economical if you were building a hollow block wall you're still putting the same steel in it you got your verticals you got your horizontals you're still filling a hollow block full of concrete it means you're still buying sand you're still buying stone and you're buying hollow block and then you're buying a whole lot of Portland to mix up that rendering that they put on the walls we're getting pretty close to being able to pour this now not very far away just a uh, little old minor stuff we're doing using some scrap blocks just shoving in behind places just for extra you know you got them laying there you got a little void this case of plywood made a little bow or something in it just shove them in there for good measure it ain't costing you nothing but second to grab a few scrap blocks and throw in so we kind of been doing that lately that way in between these two areas here if, if plywood's got soft and like it rained last night or anything or just getting old from being used again and again just a little extra support a little extra safety measure we just throw some blocks and behind there scraps we've cut off of lumber i say again again there's no scrap at this job actually there's no scrap as they say it's showtime at the apollo <laughs> 
Yeah, well, it's showtime upstairs. They are preparing to mix concrete right now. Um, stacking the stone, stacking the sand, getting the bags of Portland spread out on top of it to do a large mix. We mix as much on the ground out there at one time as a lot of those concrete mixers, it would take four, five, sometimes six batches. And the time that that batch mixes in that, that concrete machine, probably by the time you spend to do two mixes in that concrete machine, we already have six mixed. I'm telling you, we're way more efficient than that, that concrete mixer. Um, the, the guys have been getting the consistency good. The concrete's super strong. Uh, places that we've had to go around and like chip and, and do different things and I've actually come back and uh, made some changes and I cut like some holes and all and we chiseled my goodness it already had so much strength it was unbelievable so uh, it's doing great it's doing great we don't regret about a concrete mixer it's just one more thing I have to keep up with and all Man, look what we have done here. So if you ever come visit here, come visit. And just look at how much concrete is all over this whole place of building infrastructure. So you're just sitting out here being the chicken chopper, huh? Yes. See all this chicken here? And I hadn't even looked at all the ingredients yet. I've just now walked out here. But this chicken and fish. Oh, there's more fish. Some vegetables look at these shrimp right here I think they got a bag of chopped up jackfruit right here corn uh, some other oh look here there's even more going on over here they got pork going on what are you gonna make out of this right here uh, marinade for grill. what all you got in this box right here uh, for my salad, macaroni salad. everything for macaroni salad and all yeah. So today, at the end of work day, uh, the guys are going to get to have a really good meal, eat up, all of us get to eat up really good, and that is all thanks to Daniel in Tennessee for uh, just being a champ and saying, hey, I want to buy all those hardworking people uh, a good meal and on him and his appreciation. So Daniel, the girls went this morning to the neighboring town's market and... Uh, bought up all of these ingredients right here and they're going to be spending the day preparing 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 to cook and uh we all appreciate it that was very kind of you sir very very kind well here we go again another day of the bucket brigade it's pouring the last of the kitchen this will pour in the complete pantry slash utility closet and which also creates the front bedroom wall. This will get uh, a radius corner inside of here. There is a door buck for the door going into the closet there. As I said before, this will get cut off. That's from my old solar. Uh, refrigerator goes there short countertop and behind that column over there and away it goes away it goes
ตรงช้าก่อนยันอ oh, ๋อแม่ที่สปิลด์ได้วันผลิตใจนะผลิตใจรักน่าเบื่อจังเลย We use a rubber hammer. It makes more vibration. If you use a steel hammer, you're gonna beat the surface of your plywood all up, damage your sheets for your next use. You'll have dimples all in it. So, just a rubber hammer. <laughs> Somebody having a birthday over there today? Yes. Whose birthday today? Oh really? <laughs> Liking this, I mean, I'm standing there just then realizing that's my hallway. That's mine and Melinda's hallway. You know, you start seeing shape take place here. You know, it's like man, I could really feel standing here in the hallway. Step by step, rooms are taking place. They are. This upcoming week, we're going to be coming across here to the front door. We're almost prepared for it now. I was preparing to start working earlier. Man, it's just blistering hot and humid today. Oh my goodness, it's humid. And uh, we got tarpaulins here, but they had not set them up a tarpaulin at all. So I drug them up here and start tying and got them to help me tie them. Got them one there, got them one here on the other side of this wall to where most of them that are working have a little bit of shade. I got another one down here and I'm gonna get them to stop and tie it over the top of themselves down there where they're working before they start their next batch. We could get rained on at uh, the tarp will help keep us going there too at least when you're pouring a wall and it's encased in plywood you know uh, the rain is not going to affect you that much if you're pouring a slab it would but not a wall so um, you can usually keep on trucking even with a lot of rain pouring these walls You gotta check out this attire right here. Is, is this your rubber cowboy boots? Yes. Huh? Because uh, I don't have any uh, cowgirl. I don't have any uh, cowgirl boots there in Texas. <laughs> what I have here in Philippines. Uh, speaking of Texas, turn around. You can see that right there. Just remember that. Everybody, remember that right there. Don't mess. Don't mess with Texas. And it even has your picture on the front of the shirt. 
Wow, personalized shirt. The beaver. <laughs> wow, I want some attire here. White rubber boots and the skirt. <laughs> I guess, but I you want to see why she's wearing them? Show the bottom of those boots. Pick them up. No, 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 no. Just show them. You see all that? That's why she's wearing rubber boots out here. It's muddy out here. It rained last night. And then them doing stuff here, too, with the big pails of water. Yeah. Well, there's all of our steel already made for our stirrups for our next columns. He had told me that he had it all, all prepped, and there it is sitting. So we did end up with a bad place today. Weak spot got exposed and we're trying to hurry and patch it right now with wire putting tension on it from two different places, getting it sandwiched back together. But we did have a place to try to blow out down here at the bottom. Um, it's completely a, a failure of all of our own part. It was completely our fault. It's not the lumber's fault. We flat out missed the area that was weak. Pushed out right at a door jam there. We just did not get it. Right All we need to do is just get it sandwiched back together and we about got it. I got down there and after it firmed up just a little bit, I took one of those long bolts, got in the space, dug the cement out, made a void, and we were able to get it pulled back together. It'd be minimum, minimum place to correct on the surface after we pull. I said, well, you know, we got this here put in with some huge nails and we can pull tension on it. It's well supported. And uh, we had blocks in between there and there anyway, so it's just pulling tension on itself. So I said, you know what, just tie some wire across right there and start torquing it. I think my mock said it pretty much got closed back up down at the bottom now. It's almost closed, isn't it? Weak wood. Oh, it's that one's trying to break. I think better just. Ah, uh, this isn't doing nothing. This this isn't working. This isn't doing nothing. You better to have that wire here. See, that's pulling it in. This here's doing nothing. You need it wrapped on here. It's, it's not going to do it. Nah, it's just... He can't twist it enough here to pull it that tight. We use this style in places anyway on the forms, even like the beams that go all the way around the house. Uh, all these beams up here, we do the same method under the bottom of them anyway because there's so much pressure pushing out. Drive a nail on both sides, wrap that wire around it and torque it the exact same method. Well, I've got the guys continuing on over here.
finished up pouring the concrete in the walls and the guys cleaned up upstairs everywhere. We had a good lunch uh, using some of the food that was bought from Mr. Daniel in Tennessee. And then the rest, we were gonna have a, a nice dinner with everybody here. So I did let them off a little early. I said, you know, after lunch, they poured about an hour later than uh, what their normal lunch break is to finish that walls off. I said, just clean up and we're gonna take the rest of the day and just enjoy and relax, cook out, everybody chill out.